Hi everyone, this is Yong Kang He. Today, I am going to talk about uh, how to enable EKS container backups on AWS using the number one free open source backup tool, which is Valero. So let's get started. If you don't have an EKS cluster, even you don't have an Amazon AWS account, so you only take a, a couple of minutes, you can sign up a trial account. And then with the automation, I created the automation scripts available from a GitHub page. So you can automate uh, EKS 1.28 cluster in about 15 minutes. And once you have the EKS cluster ready, so here's a prerequisites to enable Valero on EKS. You don't need a Kubernetes 1.20, 1.16 or plus. And also you have the kubectl installed locally. So for my demo, I will use AWS Cloud Shell, which I already part of my preparation. I already have kubectl installed. And the Kubernetes right now, it's running 1.28. So let, let's just verify. So I do have a one node cluster running 1.20i created about five minutes ago. I used my automation. Yeah, this time it is actually running quite fast. It, it's just under 14 minutes to create a one node uh, EKS cluster here. So now how to enable the container backups of my Valero on EKS? It's really about the three simple steps. So number one, create an Amazon S3 bucket. And number two, set the permissions for Valero to access. And the last but not least, you can do the Valero install and start the Valero server. Okay, let's see how it works. So if you if you are not using my automation to create an EKS cluster, you probably you need to clone the repository because of my Valero deploy code is also located from the uh, automation GitHub repository. So once you clone the repository, change it to that directory, and then you just run the valero-deploy.sh to enable the container backup. It only take about one minute. Let's do it. So I'm here already in the folder. All I need to do is just run valero-deploy. Okay, press enter. So first of all, we're going to create the uh, IAM rules and then create the Amazon S3 bucket, enable the permissions. And finally, we're going to kick off the on-demand backup jobs. Yeah, it looks like uh, it's already done. It take like uh, 16 seconds. It's already done. But how to verify? So here's a few commands actually on screen. So here's a few actually before I verify. If we want to validate if the backup is okay, uh, let me jump to this screen. So here is a command to verify the backup. So we just run Valero backup get or kubectl get backups. So let's verify. So Valero backup get. Yes, looks like I do have a backup and it's already completed. And now if I want to simulate a disaster, I can simply just delete the whole namespace. So by the way, what I backed up, it's a young dash PostgreSQL. It's a namespace which has PostgreSQL installed. So I just run the command. I'm going to delete the whole namespace to simulate a disaster. And after that, I'm going to verify, validate if the namespace has been deleted. So I'm going to wait the delete finish, and then I'm going to get namespace to confirm the namespace has been successfully deleted. So get namespace now not found. So now how to restore? So I'm come back here. So to restore, all we need to do is just run the Valero restore, create from a backup. So for my case, I just run the Valero restore, create from the backup, and then you will see the backup job, or the restore job submitted successfully. If you want to verify, you just run this command. 
or you can verify by the logs. So while we are doing the verify, let's see if the namespace has been created. Okay, it looks like it's already it's finished. You can see 24 seconds ago, the namespace uh, has been created and the port is uh, up running. So you see how fast it is to restore the containers. So if I want to confirm, I can get the namespace to see if the young dash PostgreSQL is back. Yes, it is back 47 seconds ago. If you want to verify the ports, you can also verify. The port is up running, so all good. We just successfully restored my application. So come back to the slide deck. If you want to verify via the logs, you just run Valaru restore logs followed by the name. So what else I have? So I listed here a few common commands. You might be uh, might be very useful. For example, you want to check the backup history and you want to verify the schedule. Right now, my automation, I create the uh, backup job based on the namespace PostgreSQL, but you can customize uh, to backup uh, any other namespace. And the schedule by default right now, Let's say Valaro schedule get. So right now I schedule the job to run every hour, but you can customize the schedule as well. Okay, that's about the, uh, the, the common commands, how to get the backup, how to check my schedule. But there is uh, also some other command. For example, you want to verify where is my backup location. So here is a command. Oops, let me type again, Valaro backup location get. So you can check my backup location is AWS. I was actually using a storage bucket, Amazon S3 bucket. And you can see the S3 bucket here. And before actually, this is a cluster I just created a moment ago. If I do refresh, you can see this is my cluster running 1.28. And this is my storage bucket. There is nothing here before, but after my backup job, you can see the contents are inside of the backup job, uh, inside of the storage bucket. And I also have two folders. One is backups, one is for the restores. Because I did the one backup, I did the one restore job. That's where you can see all these details here. Okay, so come back to the slide deck. Yeah, you can also create a schedule to run every five minutes, for example, here. So what are the typical use cases? Why customer using Valor? It's pretty simple. The three major use cases here. So I want to backup my containers. I want to provide a disaster recovery solutions for my containers. Or I want to do the container migration. Could be from all on-premises or from other cloud, migrate to Amazon EKS. So these are the common use cases. If you want to check, yeah, I got a full list, a long list of the videos talking about the backup uh, all different tools. Okay, so why customers are using Valero for EKS? So first of all, it's a number one free open source Kubernetes backup tool. Everybody is using it. And it is trusted by many customers globally. And it is relatively mature and it's a very good fit for skilled you know, technical users. So for this particular video, you can access by this link. But is there any any you know disadvantages or limitations from Valor? Yeah, apparently it looks like uh, all the command, all the backup job, restore job, or, or do the migration, it can only be done from the command line. But for some users, they don't like the command line or they're not familiar to the command line, that becomes a problem. So that's why the third party tools can provide some additional uh, benefits. 
So one of the popular one is uh, Cloud Casa. So why Cloud Casa for EKS? Yeah, I listed quite a few you know, advantages here. So one of the very important one is uh, it is relatively mature. It comes with a nice UI and it is very easy, very simple to use. And not to mention it comes with the beauty encryption, multi-cross management, uh, and also can do the auto discovery of all of your Kubernetes cluster on, on major public cloud. And there are a bunch of other you know, advantages I'm not going to touch on one by one. So I'm gonna record a separate video to talk about how to use Cloud Casa to back up EKS containers. Okay, so just to uh, wrap it up with a few reference links. So automation code, it's available from GitHub in the Cloud Casa documentation and available basic installation documentations. Now feel free to join our user group, or Kubernetes user group, and also data management user group, and also our popular uh, Kubernetes uh, uh, Telegram group chat. So here is a link or QR code to access, to join the Kubernetes, the most active Kubernetes user group, uh, short as a Kesug. And also KSDM, that's the most uh, active Kubernetes discussions. By now you can see we got uh, almost uh, 4,200 members. So feel free to join us. I think uh, that's all for today. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. To contact me via any one of the links listed here. Thanks.